Hello students and learners, welcome to the Brain Box Tutorials. I'm your teacher Priyanka and here is with me today's English language paper of ICSE class 10. I went through this paper and I must say this is one of the most easiest English language papers I have seen in recent times. The essay topic, grammar portion all are very easy and the choices are also very easy. So let us quickly go through the paper and then solve the grammar portion. So question one is uh, composition uh, as five choices come. First one is write an original short story entitled A Strange Visitor. Second one is a narrative essay. Narrate an incident from your experience in which your parents had entrusted you with a difficult task. Give details of the task, how you carried it out and your feelings at the end. This is very good essay. You could have uh, written about uh, an experience of us for example your father interested you with a task of um, uh, depositing money in a bank so you did not know how to fill in the deposit form deposit slip and what difficulties you faced and then what happened and how did you manage to uh, deposit the money or maybe you were given an ATM card and uh, your father told you to withdraw some money and your ATM card got stuck in the machine ATM machine how did you retrieve it and how did you get your money back uh, so uh, that also you could have written or any other difficult task uh, then next one describe how you spend your time on a holiday afternoon why do you think it is necessary necessary to have these times of quietness and solitude. Number fourth is argumentative essay. Express your views either for or against the statement junk food should be banned. If you write an argumentative essay, I always say that um, uh, there is better chance of getting good marks if you attempt an argumentative essay if you have good points to write about. For example, if you are for the statement that junk food should be uh, banned, then you should give good three points to state your point of view and then one point you must uh, raise from the other's point of view and then negate it that is then uh, say something so that you can cancel the other points uh, point of view for example if you are for this statement that junk food should be banned then you must raise the point that uh, people who uh, who think that junk food should not be banned say that this is easier to make and uh, it is quite easier we uh, this is uh, not time consuming so you take out take this point up and then uh, negate it by saying that even if it is not time consuming but it how it hampers your health and then fifth one is uh, picture composition here a picture of a uh, few children playing carom has been shown children hail from underprivileged society so their socio-economic conditions is uh, not good still they are enjoying their lives and you will have to uh, write a composition on that topic Okay, then coming to the letter part, first one is informal. Your friend was absent from school on a day when an unfortunate incident took place for which you were blamed. Write a letter to your friend giving details about the incident, your role in it and how the matter was finally resolved. It could be about some cheating where you were not involved but uh, still uh, everybody blamed you for cheating or maybe some kind of a fight between uh, two of your friends and you were blamed for the situation or their enragement and then how the matter was resolved you could uh, say you could have written on that then second one is uh, formal you wish to stage a play to create awareness about the importance of saving electricity write a letter to the manager of a nearby shopping mall supermarket requesting permission to use the space in front of the shopping mall supermarket to stage the play okay this was also very easy then coming to question number three that is notice writing and email writing about uh, inter school dance competition i hope you have given a, a good uh, creative heading and then you the proper format which was provided by the council itself then coming to the passage part comprehension here uh, let us go through the meanings and all first one perturbed the answer would be unsettled second one is stunted the answer would be prevented from growing that is a third one is uh, the opposite of the word expensive that is c cheap Okay, and then question, answer and uh, press A uh, is there. Now coming to the grammar part. Next day, my uncle spent a lot of time that is already written. He, number one, selected. So that is in uh, past tense. 
and all our most most of all our uh, in past tense my aunt gave me gave my face a scrub and groomed me my uncle followed me about then here it will be uttering several pieces of advice before letting me out you must never scowl even if the sun hits you in the eyes you must try to look pleasant so it was very easy now coming to fill in the blanks with appropriate words that is preposition and uh, 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 phrasal verbs so first one is there is a black cat sitting dash the wall that will be on the wall or you can write beside the wall still i guess the first option that is on is better if you write on that would be better but beside uh, may also be correct one next one is the horse jumped over the hedge mother goes to the market several people have climbed mount everest in recent years i often go to school with my friends or without my friend but with my friend would be better but without is also correct then i have left my keys at home next one instead of talking prove uh, talking prove your worth by doing something i have not slept since yesterday so see i think uh, first time i have seen all proper prepositions are coming uh, all eight are preposition no phrasal verbs have been given in this and students always find a uh, difficult to uh, fill in the blank when phrasal verbs are there and here in this particular question no phrasal verb have been given i think i hope you have all done the prepositions correctly now coming to number 3 uh, complete sentence without using and but so first one is the magician took pity on the mouse he turned it into a cat so taking pity on the mouse uh he turned it no uh, number d taking pity on the mouse the magician turned it into a cat number 2 this work must be completed there is a deadline so for that option number a since this work must be completed there is a deadline no number b this work must be completed because there is a deadline yes this is correct option number b coming to number 3 he fled somewhere his pursuers could not follow him uh for this number option number a he fled where his pursuers uh, pursuers could not follow him will be the correct option number 4 he began late he finished first uh for that option number a he finished first and began late wrong b he began first but finished late wrong number c though he finished late he began first wrong number d though he began late he finished first correct option is number d now coming to number uh that is number 4 you do as directed for that number 1 arun and nikhil had climbed the mountain add a question tag so because it is had and it is a assertive sentence positive sentence so question tag will be negative so hadn't they that is number c arun and nikhil had climbed the mountain hadn't they number 2 the children have broken the window pane the window pane has been broken by the children right because have is used here because children that is plural but window pane is singular that is why has will be used in present perfect coming to number 3 the apples are so cheap that they cannot be good used to so for that option number d will be correct option the apples are too cheap to be good now coming to number 4 she is very clever and beautiful use not only uh, option number a not only is she very clever but also beautiful number b not only was she beautiful no it is wrong number c not only is she clever she was also very that is also wrong option number d not only was so was will not be there obviously is will be there option number a is correct coming to number 5 i prefer a simple vanilla ice cream to fancy desserts uh, begin i would rather number a i would rather have a simple vanilla ice cream to fancy no uh, number b i would rather have a simple vanilla ice cream than fancy desserts yes this will be correct option number b coming to number 
he asked when do you intend to make the payment begin he asked number a he asked when he did intend to make the payment no uh, number b he asked when she is intending no number c he asked when i intended to make the payment this is correct see uh, in uh, reporting part that is from direct to indirect present tense changes to past tense so here it is written do intend that is present tense so we will change it into intended that would be better to write did intend is also past tense still did is used that is not preferable i intended would be a better choice coming to number 7 if the rain does not stop mariam will not be able to do the laundry begin unless so here the option d would be correct option unless the rain stops that is if the rain does not stop mariam will not be able to do the laundry because unless means if not now coming to number 8 last one this is the best movie i have ever seen begin never option number a never had i seen a no wrong number b never i have seen no wrong number c never have i seen a better movie than this this is the correct option option number c so the paper was very easy the choices are also so obviously the the correct one it is it can clearly be seen that which one will be the correct the other wrong ones are so obvious so i think the paper is very easy and you also have done it very nicely uh, tell me in the comment box how was your paper uh, and uh, prepare for the next exam that is your english literature exam i will come up with the solution of other papers as well wishing you all the best for your exams bye bye jai hind